Welcome to today's edition of What's Behind the Door. The theme today is pelvic abdominal masses. We have two very special guests who are just getting ready in the back. Uh, the one has slightly special needs, she's a little bit slower. Ah, here they come. May I introduce you to Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma. They are here to try and decide which is the commonest cause of a mass arising from the pelvis in their age group. Right, so out of respect, Grandma's first. Granny, would you like to open the door and see? You can choose. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to choose this one. Okay, let's see what's behind it. Oh, Grandma, that's a fetus. That's definitely not going to be a mass in your age group. Over to Little Red Riding Hood. Which door would you like to choose? Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Ah, you've chosen a simple ovarian cyst. Not a bad one, but not the commonest cause in your age group. Over to you again, Grandma. Um, okay, let me think now. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. Oh, Grandma, you've got a dermoid or a teratoma. That's not going to present for the first time in your age group, I'm afraid. Over to you, Little Red Riding Hood again. Um, okay, I can, okay, I'll go for this one. Oh, you found a chocolate cyst, an endometrioma. Not a bad thought for someone who's young, but still not the commonest cause of a mass in your pelvis. Grandma. Over to you again. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Okay, Grandma. Oh, an ovarian malignancy. Absolutely, that's 100% correct. You chose the right answer, yay! Yay! But never mind, we've got a bonus round because we still have one unopened door. So, which of you can tell me what you think is behind the remaining door? Um, oh, oh, I know, I know. Okay, Little Red Riding Hood, what have you got? Oh, I think it's a fibroid. Yes, it is a fibroid, correct. So that would be the commonest cause of a pelvic abdominal mass in a woman who's in reproductive age and not pregnant. Thank you so much to both of you for joining us today. Give us a hand. Round of applause. Yay!